In this lesson, we're going to use place value table to convert between fractions, decimals, and percentages. We begin with 0.24. Now we can see we have two tenths and four hundredths. But two tenths can also be written as 20 hundredths when we multiply both by 10. Adding that to the four hundredths, we have 24 hundredths. And percent means as a fraction out of 100. So we have 24 percent. If we have 0.16, we have 10 hundredths plus six more. So in total, we have 16 over 100, 16 percent. With 0.18, we have 18 hundredths, which is 18%. For question D, we have 0 0.05. In this case, we only have 5 hundredths, which is just 5%. Similarly, with question E, 0.03 is just 3 hundredths, 3 percent. Question F is interesting. We have 1.25, but in the one unit we have 100 hundredths, because 100 divided by 100 is 1. We have two tenths, which we know is 20 over 100, and 5 more hundredths. So in total, we have 125%. In question G, we're going to write 0 0.50 or 0 0.5 as a percentage. Well, we know it is 50 over 100, which is 50%. And we can simplify this by dividing by the highest common factor of 50. 50 divided by 50 is 1, 100 divided by 50 is 2, we have 1 half. For question H, we have 0 0.75, which, we should, which we've learned is 75%. And as a fraction over 100, we can divide both by the highest common factor of 25, which is 3 divided by 4, so 3 quarters. And 0 0.36, which is 36%. And as a simplified fraction, 36 over 100, divide both by 4, we have 9 over 25. And finally, for question J, we have 0 0.05, which is 5%, 5 over 100, which we can simplify by dividing the denominator and numerator by 5, we have 1 20th. Thank you for watching, I hope you found that useful and check out mrmathematics.com for a full lesson and worksheet.